If you see a band part that calls for the guiro, what is the guiro? Well, it's a Spanish word, the guiro, and the guiro is simply a gourd rasp, traditionally. Many of the modern guiros that you might find in your band room look like a fish, kind of like this. So, how do you play the guiro, and what do you strike it with? What do you scrape it with? Typically a guiro will have two holes, those are for your fingers to hold onto it, and your non-dominant hand. Here's another example of a guiro. This one's made out of plastic in the shape of a large gourd. Now if you have nothing else to scrape your guiro with, you can use the back of a mallet. Um, either birch or rattan sounds great. Another scraping implement that can be used on a guiro is a metal hair pick. When I'm playing the barria or the scraper on a wiro, I'll keep my index finger on top to control the amount of pressure that I put into the scrape. Play close to the tip and not way back on the shank because it won't get a very good sound. Rhythmic patterns on wiros are derived from long and short sounds, oftentimes the long being marked with a tenuto or a line uh, above or below the note, and the short ones a staccato or a dot. The most common widow pattern is long, short, short, long, short, short. One way to play that is simply. But a little cooler way to play that gives more rhythmic drive is to start with a very short attack going down and then the sustain coming up for the long sound and then two short sounds where you scrape it very quickly and come off. <laughs> 